I'm back. Hello, everyone. This is Tess from Skate with Tess. Welcome back to me and to you. I am here today, again, two years later, uh, because of you guys. It's true. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has left the sweetest, just kindest comments on my videos since I last posted two years ago. I just, I still get comments and they're just so kind. And lately I've been getting ones that say, please come back. So I'm back. I have some really cool skate lessons in store for you. And if you are a beginner roller skater, you are in the right place. I have years of experience working with beginner roller skaters. Um, or if you're just returning roller skater, I got your back. I understand that process. I understand the mental journey as well. And I'm going to be here as your guide through the whole process. I do plan on doing like advanced skills as well. So that, you know, if you're with me for a while and you're like, all right, I'm ready for something more advanced, we'll move into that. But my main priority is my amazing beginner skaters. So if you're back, if you know me, or if this is your first time here, welcome. Everyone is welcome here at Skate With Test. So today we are gonna learn the simple anatomy of a roller skate. And yes, I did use my tax return for new roller skates. And yes, I have yet to put them on. I am not gonna lie, I am a little um, nervous about putting them on because new skates um, are difficult to break in. Not all of them, and I will go, go over one day um, some beginner, beginner skates that are very easy to get into, but I've been skating since I was five. Um, and I was a professional roller derby player as well for the early part of my 20s, which was really fun and really advanced my roller skating skills. And now I teach. I love to teach roller skating. It is one of my favorite things. I think it is way more than just a skill. I think it's a physical skill. You know, fitness is wonderful, but also a mental skill. Just, just like, you know, pumping yourself up and getting yourself through it is no easy feat. If you hear scratching, it's my cute new puppy. Would you like to see her? Yeah, you would. This is Dolly. As in Dolly Parton, yes. Look over here, baby. Can you say hi? I love you so much. She will be my assistant, and you might hear her in the background. Okay, let's do this. So I'm just gonna do the basic anatomy of a roller skate because you don't need to know that much. I mean, I've been skating for a long time and I still don't know the itsy bitsy parts of a roller skate and there are parts of a roller skate that I've never touched and I hope that one day I can get someone who's a roller skate like actual roller skate professional um, to show us through this actual skate like especially this stuff so here's your skate this is your boot hmm? laces I will leave a link to my shoelace my skate lace video below. Um, it's really important that you get the right laces. I like wax laces, long wax laces. You have to get them from a skate store. It's go to Wicked Skatewear, go to Moxie Roller Skate. They all have them. It's very basic. Get wax because they will last longer, especially if you are playing roller derby um, because um, you will be falling a lot, not just in derby, but actual roller skating. Also, if you're new here, we're not afraid of falling, okay? We're gonna fall and it's gonna be fine. I'm going to teach you how to fall because, and also you are gonna be wearing all of your pads because Mama Tess has shown you exactly what knee pads to get because it's really important to invest in your pads when it comes to roller skating. We're here to have fun, we're not here to have injuries. And if we do, it's okay and we still cheer each other on because once we get better, we will get back right out, right out there on our skates, right? And if you're injured and you're watching, hello, I love you, I see you, you're gonna be okay, and you're gonna get right back in your skates, okay? So wax laces. I'm out of breath because I'm really excited to be here. Okay, <laughs> next, toe stops. Toe stops are really important. I have a toe stop video, and I will link that below as well. Do I have a toe stop video? 
I do have a toe stop video. Also, I don't have a changing your toe stops video. Gumball toe stops, gumball toe stops, gumball toe stops. I will put them in the link below. They are my favorite toe stop. They're 20 bucks, um, I think. They're like erasers and they, they are used really quickly, but they are just the best. Um, like look at the, what do you call that? The diameter of that versus that, just more surface area and it's just more comfortable to walk on, do tricks on, to stop on gumballs. But I will do a video all about that and how I change out my toe stops. Then here's your wheel, of course. See this wheel? I have a, I have a wheel changing video. Um, see this wheel? I don't know if you can see it, but it like spins and it stops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen those when I first put these on, cause I want mine to go. <sighs> these are outdoor wheels because I primarily skate outdoors and they're gummier, so they absorb shock. These are the Orbit Sonars and their hardness is 85A. Um, the, the less the number, the less hard it is. The higher the number, the harder it is. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. There are kids watching. And here you've got your nut and you've got your bearing. And I have a whole bearing changing video. I'll leave this below as well. So that's about it. When it comes to your, your actual skate yourself, the only thing that you need to worry or just know about on the bottom of your skate is your toe stop, your wheels, and your bearings. Truly, that's it. Start there. You do not need to be a physical roller skating expert to own a pair of skates. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will join me next time with Skate with Tess. I'll see you later. Bye.